Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's talk about the basics of how a thunderstorm forms. Thunderstorms can be fascinating and beautiful, and also scary and frightening. Florida is the home to the top four cities that have the highest number of thunderstorms each year. The cities are Tampa, Orlando, Miami, and Jacksonville. The reason why they have so many thunderstorms is that their conditions of warm, moist climate is perfect for forming thunderstorms. So here's how a thunderstorm forms. Step one, warm, moist air is heated and begins to rise upward. Step two, as this warm air rises, it's filled up with moisture and it begins to cool. It condenses and begins to form clouds. Step three, this warm air will continue to rise and eventually will encounter cold air, which will cool the moisture in the clouds, and ice may form. Step four, eventually the cooled moisture and ice will begin to fall to the earth. This action creates a downdraft. Step five, the updrafts continue feeding warm, humid air, and the falling moisture creates downdrafts. This creates convection currents. You can see from this video what convection currents look like. The warm water is in red and the cool water is in blue. These convection currents that are created from the upward movement of moist water and the downward draft of the cool down water create the most violent stage of the thunderstorm. Lightning and strong winds are produced. Step six, eventually the downdrafts will stop the updrafts of warm air. Step seven, when the warm moist air is cut off, the storm begins to die off. There are three main types of thunderstorms, orographic, air mass, and frontal. Orographic thunderstorms are caused by air that is forced up by a mountain or a really large hillside. Air mass thunderstorms are the result of localized convection currents in an unstable air mass. An unstable air mass has both warm and cool or cold air. And finally, frontal thunderstorms occur along the boundaries of weather fronts, like a cold front or a warm front. So there we go, how a thunderstorm is formed. If you'd like to know more about thunderstorms, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.